In this video, I'll show you how you can copy objects from one AutoCAD drawing to another. I'll also show you the easiest method of copying blocks from one drawing to another. So without any delay, let's get started. All right, so here we have this drawing from where we want to copy several objects. Now, in this drawing, we have simple objects, we have some blocks, we also have an XREF, which is basically a linked drawing. So this drawing actually does not exist inside this one. It's basically linked as an external reference only. Now let's see how we can copy all of these things to another one. I'll start with simple objects. Let's say we have all these objects here. That's not just a block, it's a bunch of lines and all. We want to copy this and paste it in another blank drawing. For that, you can select the object and just press Ctrl C on your keyboard. That's going to copy it on your clipboard. Now go to the target drawing, which is blank in my case, and I'll press Ctrl V and I'll paste it. It's as simple as that. And it's added as normal object. Not only that, the layer is also added. So it will automatically add the layer and any external object which is linked to the object you're copying will be added here in this drawing as well. Now, before we move further, I want to share my collection of AutoCAD tips and tricks like this one. These tips are compiled in a PDF ebook format which you can download for free using the link in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. So go ahead and download the ebook now and after that continue with the video. Now if you want precise control over the way you are copying and pasting your objects then you can use copy base. As an example let's say we want to copy this object. For that you can just select and control C that but instead I'll type copy base and press enter. Now I want to copy this object but using this point as the base. I want to maintain the distance that we have here. So I'll just select this point as the base and now I'll select this object and press enter. All right, so this object is now copied using this as the base point. Now let's go to the target drawing and here I'll type paste clip, press enter and you can see that my cursor is exactly at the base point which we selected and I can now click here the point which we selected as base point and the distance between these two objects will be maintained exactly like the main drawing because we used copy base command. Now let's look at the third scenario where we want to copy and paste blocks. So we have blocks here. This one is a door block, a window block. And in fact, this thing entirely is a block. Now to copy and paste a block, all you've got to do is just select an object, which is a block, then use control C, go to the target drawing and here use control V. Now the block is also added here and it will show up in this insert list. So we have this here added. Now what if you want to copy simple object and then convert it into a block? As an example, I'll go to this drawing here. And in this case, this object is not a block. It's basically a bunch of lines, polylines and so on. I want to copy this from here, but in the target drawing, I want to paste it as a block. For that, you can select this, use control C, go to the target drawing and here you can use control shift and V and that's going to paste it as a block. Now look at this, it's a block. If you go to this insert drop down, you can see that this is added as a block with a random string of name. Now you can fix this as well. Just to rename this, simply type rename command, press enter, select block and then select the block you want to rename and give it a new name. So I'll call it sample and then I'll click on this button rename to and now it's renamed click OK and done. So now it's renamed as well. You have all of these options here on the clipboard panel as well. So on the clipboard panel, we have paste option. We have paste as block. So you can copy object using this copy option. You can select copy base and copy clip. So these are the two options. If you want to copy it from base point, this is the one. This is copy clip where base point is irrelevant, it will simply copy it on the clipboard. And for pasting, you can use paste as block, that is control shift V and simple paste, which is control V. Also, if you want to cut an object, then that's right here. So you can cut and cut it with a base. So that will basically move the original object. Now let's look at the next one, which is N copy. Now using N copy, you can copy part of an XREF or a linked entity. For example, in this case, we have an XREF here. And in this XREF, if we select any object, it's going to select the entire drawing. Now, what if we want to only copy part of this XREF? By the way, this XREF is linked, which means this drawing is somewhere else. In this case, it's on my desktop. So 
on my desktop, I have this sample DWG file. If I open it, it's going to show you the original file, which is right here. So if you want to copy and paste something from this, you can just select it, control C, and then go to the main drawing and use control V. But rather than opening this file, we'll do it without even opening it. So I'll simply make it large. And now I'll use N copy command. So N copy, press enter. And now you just need to select the object that you want to copy from this xref in this case i want to copy this window so i'll just select the objects of this window one by one all right these objects are copied press enter and now select a base point and select a target point wherever you want to paste it i'll just move it here and here we are now this window which we copied and pasted here is no longer part of this xref we still have these objects in the xref but it is also added as a standalone object and the layer and other things associated with this object is also copied along with it that's and copy finally let's see how we can copy and paste images in autocad and for that i'll use this source card logo so i'll right click here and i'll select open with paint 3d basically you can use other programs if you want you can use simple paint as well and now I'll use Control A to select everything in this drawing and then Control C to copy this. Let's go to AutoCAD and here I'll use Control V or you can use Paste, Paste Special and here you can select Bitmap. When you select that, AutoCAD will add it here as a Bitmap which is basically a standalone OLE object. It looks like it's completely skewed, so I'll just make it again. So I'll just paste it one more time. So OK, and I'll add it right here. And there we are. So there it is. You can even make it smaller. Of course, it's really very large. So I'll just make it smaller just to fit our current drawing. And there we are. Now it's added as a bitmap. So that's how you can copy and paste images as well. So that's how you can copy objects, including blocks, from one drawing to another in AutoCAD. If you want more such AutoCAD quick tips, then I have compiled a large collection of AutoCAD tips in a PDF ebook format, which you can download from the link in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in the next video. I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care.